some things that you keep talking about correcting some some yeah. stuff. Is there some stuff that might not be correct that you kind of said, you know, maybe? I mean, it's, like, it's the National Football League. Every week, every week, you got to show up. You got to bring your lunch, and you, you realistically got got to show up and play ball every week. And it should go get beat. That's the bottom line. And every week you can point at something new, something different, but it's all consistent to the same things that win or lose a game. You know, that's the bottom line. So, I mean, I, I can't even speak on, on that. It's just some every week is something. So, too many of the same things showing up. I mean, yeah. I mean, the formula for winning and the formula for losing are pretty similar. You know, it just it might be a matter of who, at what, at what certain times. Like, it's a lot of it's a lot, a lot going on within the game. Each week, you know, each week is different in its own right, and it requires different things. But like I said, the ways that you win or lose games usually are consistent in the same way. Are you sure? not the result that you guys wanted, but how did it feel to get back out there once you got the opportunity? Yeah, you know, I mean, I was blessed. I mean, I got opportunity. To, I mean, I've been here for a few weeks, and I got opportunity to get back onto the field. Um, you know, it wasn't good enough today. I, I feel like there's a lot that I need to improve on on my first day back onto the field playing games. But uh, you know. We got a bye week next week, and uh, I gotta get better. Gotta gotta prepare better. I gotta work better, and I gotta become a better football player. So. What happened on the penalty? Um, I just jumped outside. I just need to be more accountable for myself and the snap count. Uh, that's on me. I meant on, uh, on uh, illegal formation. Oh, um, uh, they said that I think I uh, was covering the tight end. Um, I just need to understand the legal formation, be able to understand the, uh, the procedure on that, be able to know not to cover him. It was just a mix-up that uh, I just need to work on, and we'll, we'll get it fixed. Have you guys better. talked about that during the week? Cover, uncover, that, that those details? I mean, we talk about everything, you know, so we always talk about making sure that we're always legal, making sure that we always know why, what our receivers are on, what our receivers are off, and stuff like that, so that's just something that um, I take a hell of a duty for, and I just got to be better for it. What did they tell you when, when you were getting ready to go in? Um, hey, just strap up, get ready to go. I mean, you got to be ready to go whenever your number's called. Um, that's how our team is. That's how um, football is. It's always next man up if there's a situation. And then being able to compete at your very best, I feel like I need to be better today and I need to work harder. But uh, that's what happened. I feel like you and Peter got some good blocks on that OU for Eric Henry. Uh, that. Yeah, I mean, I think that we had a good few uh, stretch plays out there. Um, Obviously, like, we weren't good enough for us to get the win today, so that's something that we're going to watch the film on. We're going to watch what we did good. We're going to watch what we did bad, and we're going to find ways to improve and get better. Ryan, the, the initial, it seemed like you were kind of gimpy in there, still playing for a bit, and then you eventually come out. Was it all one injury, or was there like a re-aggravation in the game? No, I was all in the one play. Um, I tried to gut it out, and um, you know, I couldn't, couldn't put any force into the throws, so uh, I knew I wasn't going to be able to move. You know, I was trying to just keep walking it off, but it was getting worse and worse, and uh, you know, I wasn't going to be able to, to make the throws. What happened on the uh, on the pick, you know, Chig's open. I just had no no push into it and, uh, and left it short. So uh, at that point, I just figured, you know, I'm going to be sitting duck back there, and, and if I can't even push step into a throw, then you know, I'm not going to be if I can. Is it a similar injury to, to what you dealt with last year at all? Uh, still right ankle, right? So, um, you know, we'll, we'll take some more looks at it, get some, uh, you know, MRI when we get back to see exactly what's going on. But, uh, yes, we're just right ankle again. You did do this before. How much are you going to have to go through this again? That freaking sucks, you know. Uh, it's part of the game, right, to get injured, but uh, it's not an enjoyable process, uh, especially when, you know, it's, it's got some significance to it. So. You know, we'll see. We'll see what it's going to look like as as we move forward here. Um, you know, get get a, a real look at it when we get back with the MRI and everything. Get a plan moving forward. But yeah, you, you know, it's frustrating, right? You uh, you battle, you put so much into it, and then you know to have something happen like that, it's it's frustrating. And Feels like we asked right, about the locker room was right off the field, and you took the car. Is that presumably to get that where the test setup was to figure out what was going on with it? Yeah, we took some took some looks at it, uh, but you know, we're really going to need an MRI to see to see what's going on. It feels like we ask you about the red zones every week, but what, what more can you guys do to kind of execute better down there? I have to go back and take a look at it, but we didn't we didn't make enough plays, you know. Um, again, got down there. 
uh, multiple times and, and didn't didn't execute. So we'll have to see why we didn't execute and what, what exactly it was. Um, but yeah, you have to be able to, to score it down. I imagine you're anxious for the results of that MRI and you're not getting in a tube until you're back in the state. Yeah, I won't, won't have a chance to, to look at it until we get back. But yeah, I want, obviously want to see what's going on and um, and hopefully it's not too bad and we can get a plan moving forward. A long plane ride more. with ice and stem? Yeah. yeah, do everything I can to just try to limit the swelling and take care of it. But only so much you can do on a plane, but definitely include some ice and stem. Did the interception end up being the uh, deciding factor for you, or was it pain tolerance things kind of? No. no. What yes. ended up taking it? Yeah, it was definitely a factor, right? Because I just, you know, every throw I could just feel that I couldn't step into the throw. Um, and that was really the first one that I attempted down the field. Um, where you know, I really kind of needed to step into it a little bit. Uh, so yeah, just moving around the sideline, I, I couldn't come out from under center. Um, and yeah, felt like I you know, wasn't able to, to step into any throws, so it was going to limit my ability to, to play quarterback. So did you get Last X-ray one. results, Ron? Uh, we, took some, we took some pictures of it, but um, you know, need need uh, MRI to really see what's going on.